Okay, so we've installed all of those tools needed for the build. So the next line, of course, is to uh, link, create a symbolic link to libgl.so.1. So we just copy that command, paste it right in there with our middle click, and that's done. So a symbolic link is just saying, I want this file to actually represent this other file. So whichever file is called for in the build script, it grabs the correct one. And just like in Lollipop, we need to set up, um, you know, our uh, repo tool, add that to our bin. And it's great. These instructions are really nice because you can just drag, click, and paste them right in there. But essentially, we're making a directory for the bin. We're going to curl or download that uh, repo tool. We're going to put it into the bin repo, and we're going to add the um, chmod to make it executable so everybody can execute that. Um, here it has us use Pico to uh, adjust the uh, bash RC, but uh, I use Nano myself. Uh, you could use Jetit. You can use any text editing program you want here. But we're just going to edit that bash RC. And at the very bottom, There we go. Uh, we're going to add this export path and equal tilde forward slash bin colon dollar path. So we add all that in there um, to, uh, to make sure it adds that repo command that's in our bin to the our normal build path so that we don't have to specify where it is when we run it. Okay, uh, source, uh, you could use actually dot if you wanted instead of source, but here we are, uh, source our bash RC. That's saying, hey, I want you to read this file again, make sure that it's set up. We're adding that path that we just set. And again, you know, we're just following along right through the build instructions here. And I really want to show you that you can just follow along these build instructions because these people put a lot of work into writing them and they do work. So. Um, I just I just want everyone to know that hey you can just you can just actually use these. So we're going to make our dir, uh, directory for pack marshmallow. We're going to change directory to get into it. We look inside. Of course, it's empty, and we're going to uh, download the repo manifest here. So when we initialize the repository, we're downloading the manifest file and we're going to have it ready to start installing um, our, uh, our repositories when we do a repo sync. Notice here this dash G all no default, uh, no Darwin thing. It's saying we don't want to have things like Darwin, which is for Billy Macintosh. Why waste our space with that? So again, we run our repo sync command and, uh, and we're gonna start synchronizing our repositories, downloading all that material. 